Good morning. I look crazy. Sorry. Um, just getting dressed. It is like 5.53 a.m. Friday morning. I'm going to vlog today. It's kind of day in the life. I haven't done a day in the life in a while. It's a Friday. And I just got dressed for the gym. We're going to hit the gym early. We're going to do like a dual vlog today, kind of, because Mike's going to also be vlogging for his channel, A Day in the Life. So it'll be both perspectives, his channel and my channel. I don't know. I'm going to try something new. Anyways, I did my weigh-in. Come here. I did my weigh-in this morning. I've been weighing myself every day and charting, charting the progress. I finally have kind of like lost the menopause weight that came on. Should hey. I get you home with the bed, Rich? So we, we oh, excuse me. What are you trying to do? We're vlogging this morning, remember? Uh, help me make the best so we can keep going to the gym. You see, this guy has so much goddamn energy in the morning. It's not even 6 a.m. It's still dark outside. I don't give a fuck. Let's go. We gotta go. Okay. We got a date with the gym. Come we here. have a date with the gym. Date with the gym. I made a handshake deal with the gym. We made a handshake deal last night to be at the gym. Well, you also made a handshake so. deal to, to vlog. Here's your camera. <laughs> It's almost 6 a.m. About to head to the gym. Trying to get this one going over here. Love the darkness before the world wakes up. It's actually not that early, but no, it's not. No. Six a.m. Plenty of people already. It is leg day for me. I've got the Nike Metcons on for the flat bottom, so that I could get some. Me too. See how the legs, how the legs hold up with the flat bottom shoes. You cannot be doing leg day in Hoka's. Let me tell you that. That's, That's a good, good way to yeah. injure yourself. Roll your ankle. Yeah. It's true. All right, you guys. Welcome to another vlog. All right, you guys, leg day complete. Woo! Peter's Bakery, please. Peter's Bakery. <laughs> Peter's Bakery. Actually, we are. We're going to Peter's Bakery because my dad, my dad loves Peter's Bakery, and so it's Friday. I bring him Peter's on Friday, but I'm also going to pick up a treat from there that I will eat tomorrow on my high calorie day. So tomorrow, whew. Um, so tomorrow is my high calorie day, which I normally, I bump it up to like 2,300 calories. So like by not, by almost like a thousand calories higher on Saturday. So I have room for that. And I don't know what I'm going to eat other than that. But anyways, this vlog is going to be a day in the life. So we have a few things planned. We're going to go do our, we usually run our errands, like our grocery errands. So I plan out what meals are going to be like next week. And then we go to Target, Trader Joe's, and Sprouts. And they're all in the same shopping center, which is nice. So I'll show you guys what we get. We're also going to get our MOTC injections. Um, also, if you are interested to see like my actual meals. Oh, there we go. Um, if you're interested to see my actual meals, I do full days of eating that is just the meals that I will 
be putting up, um, I'll be putting that up on Wednesday. So you guys can see all the meals that I make with all the groceries I get today. So make sure you follow those videos because those are meal specific with the macros, with the recipes, with everything. Anyways, right now we're headed over to the bakery. So I'll give you guys a glimpse into my childhood bakery. Oh boy. Absolute favorite bakery of all time. Um, best pastries, best pastries. Gym done, bakery done, surprised dad with his donuts. He had forgotten it was Friday, so he was happy that he had donuts. Now we are doing a walk, but it's gonna be a little shorter because running out of time, we have an appointment to get the, uh, to get our MOTC injections. Yeah, MOTC, see we're loving that by the way. Um, so we're gonna head over to Be Well IV in Los Gatos. That is where we go and we love it there. Um, it's a nice place. So we're headed there. Then we're gonna do all of our rounds of shopping so you guys can see what we get at Costco, what we get at Trader Joe's, etc. So tap in in a little bit. Well, IV. All right, you guys. We're off to uh, our peptide appointment, Los Gatos. I'm doing the MOTC and the BP feet, BPC 157 because my shoulder's a little aged. And uh, my wife's doing that. What are you doing, babe? I'm just doing the MOTC. MOTC. We do the five milligram injection. And by the way, the BPC 157, they call it the Wolverine. Dude, I, I was testing my shoulder out today. I still feel a tiny bit, but I'm pushing harder and getting stronger on it. So it's doing something. And I feel, I feel good. I, I've talked about it now on the podcast and then also yeah. in another like a menopause weight a video I did on my channel. But absolutely, my, my weight loss deficit is set to one pound per week, but I am losing more rapidly than one pound per week right now. So yeah. that supports the theory that Mott C increases the burn and the thermic effect like in your body and inside of your cells which would in turn cause you to burn more calories which would explain why my weight loss has been a little faster when technically it shouldn't be any faster especially in menopause exactly right and me too i'm a 48 year old man and i'm peeling these pounds off you know granted yeah i'm watching my, my macros but the weights is dropping sometimes i even i've gone over a little bit still dropping it's crazy. So, yeah. I'm but off. doing the work, 100%. Doing the work. Got Macros, the work. 100%. Macros. Get up early. Train. Two a days for me, you know? Not everybody's going to be like that, but you got to do some kind of work. Well, you have to. You got to do some kind of work. You have to figure out what you're willing to commit to, yep. and then you give that 100%. I think oftentimes people see people on the internet, and they think they have to do what they're doing. No, 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 no. You just need to commit to what you're willing to commit to yep. and set your expectations on your results based on that. Two is, uh, for those of you like barely starting out your worker workout programs, don't go all gas at first. Mistake you guys do. Yeah. I'm gonna go six days a week and crush these workouts. Listen, if you're new to the game, be more realistic. Three times a week, commit to that. Hey, if you can do five, good. But start with like three. Get your momentum going. Let a few weeks pass. Because I see this a lot. And we hear about this. Is people will start something. They'll go all in. Go five days a week. Then before you know it, they'll do that for a couple weeks. Then they, then they start then they start slipping because they don't see results. Because people want everything instantaneously. They think it's like Amazon. Like you're going to see instant results. Like your package of nice bodies is going to show up in two weeks. No. It takes time. So people start falling off after two, three weeks. And they go four days, then three days, and two day, 
days, then it's non-existent because they didn't see what the, they didn't find what they were looking for. Mm -hmm. I said, well, this is a journey. You gotta search harder. That's why I look at it. You gotta search for those muscles. You gotta search for that hard body. You gotta get after it. Everybody wants the easy way. Not like that. It takes work. It takes you know years. what? You it know what? People, one thing years. I wanted to point out too that's important to keep in mind. Everyone also thinks they need to constantly be switching things up. Yes. No, you don't. You don't even need to switch up your workouts. You don't need to switch things up. You have to stay consistent doing the same things long enough to make progress in those things. But even macros, like people think like, like you've been on your macros now for a few months. We have yeah. I set your macros one time. One we time. have not and made asked, any adjustments. And I've asked you, hey babe, when do I gotta like leave it alone? You're dropping it. She's right. I'm dropping No adjustments. Nothing. It has been like almost three months. Not a single adjustment has been made. The macros are working. You keep going. You do not change what is working. That is the biggest mistake people make, or they perceive it to not be working fast enough, so they yes. change it. Yes. Just trust. Trust. God, people just process. don't. I don't know if people, if everybody has ADHD and super impatient, but you gotta think of it like a toilet paper. Go look at the toilet paper. It starts off full next time. Next time you put a roll of toilet. Over time, over time, over time, gets smaller and smaller and smaller. So do we, but it takes little increments, smaller. Time. Give instant. it time. Everybody wants instant gimmicks. They want machines. I'm gonna go do this. I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run it here. I'm, I'm gonna go wrap myself like a mummy and sweat and lose 10 pounds of water. You're gonna gain it right back. This is one. injections as you saw um, really cool though they they actually gave us a discount we, we've never you know we promote the place yes. I, we're not like those type of cheesy people we're like oh Ask, no we're on social media can we get a discount like let's no. collab no I don't like yeah, to do that no. I like to kind of say as you guys know if you listen to podcasts hold my coffee let us talk about you and then you know show us some love at some point without asking is the best and we didn't ask and no we were actually like kind of argue not arguing but we we're like oh i think your total's wrong she goes yeah. no 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 it's not wrong i'm like no the total's wrong yeah and i listed off all the things we got she goes no it's not wrong like <laughs> trust me we gave you guys we gave you guys a, oh, some love that's... so it was pretty cool it was a nice little surprise yes, but it was. that's not why we talk about them obviously no. um we have uh been seeing results so we like it and that's why we talk about it yep anyways off to do some shopping yeah look at her cute new bag <laughs> so we're going to costco right now you know i saw him he would have went off right now you the card? here yeah let me give him the card they get one day. Yeah, one day they'll get it. Yeah. Here we go, protein up. She has a list. Sorry, don't open in here.
All right, I'm gonna show you guys some of the Trader Joe's things. But to see like specifics on these meals, you have to tune into the next video, which is gonna be my full day of eating because I'll be making all of my meals um, for the stuff that I bought today. But I wanted to show you this. I didn't, I got this online. Um, but on um, next week's meal plan is gonna be breakfast burritos. Mike's gonna do his version. I'm gonna do my version. These are protein tortillas that taste like taqueria tortillas. They are absolutely delicious and they have 11 grams of protein in them. They're 200 calories, but they're huge. So for me, I make a burrito that is like a 600 calorie breakfast burrito and then I cut it in half and I only eat half of it because that's just a lot. I just restocked some stuff that I like to just have all the time. If I'm feeling yogurt, this is my favorite granola, the almond butter granola from Trigger Joe's. Um, some light Mexican style cheese. I got this. I've gotten this before. You guys have seen it. It's so delicious. It's thin sliced chicken breast, boneless, skinless chicken breast, marinated. Great macros and Mike barbecues up the whole package and then I cut it up and I use it all week long. We got some avocados. I got some caramel sauce. It's so good. A drizzle of it. It's just so nice over your Ninja Creamy. And um, it's only like 50 calories for just like a caramel drizzle. Little goes a long way. Mike got some ground beef. I, maybe he's doing burgers or something this week. I, Costco. Costco staples. This, like on Costco day, I like to have a convenience meal because I'm tired and I don't want to cook after I've been going around to all these stores. Chicken, chicken breast burrito bowl. It's 390 calories and 30 grams of protein. Doing these again, I've showed them before on my channel, but they are the tortilla crusted tilapia. That's one of the meals I'm going to be making next week, so you have to tune in for that. But I think I'm going to do some sort of like a fish taco type of situation. Egg whites. Costco is the best place to get egg whites. It's to get your faye. And if you are in a calorie deficit and you're trying to hit, eat a lot of protein, faye is a staple. It's a staple. I like to just have it in my freezer for like days where I just don't want to cook anything and I just want to put these in the air fryer with some fries and they still have great macros. 160 calories for four ounces and 23 grams of protein. Really delicious. You could do a lot with these. Trader Joe's is where I get my Bear Bells, the protein bars, and I buy these by the box because we love them here. So Blair, uh, Blueberries, strawberries, Mike got some edamame, and that's about these have been my go-to treat at night lately. Mini It Sits, only 170 calories. So as long as I've already hit my protein goal for the day, but I still have 170 calories left, I indulge in an It Sit. Guess what? Four grams of protein in that. Four grams of protein, delicious little treat, perfect little size, impossible to overeat because it's portioned out. So lately that's what I've been doing, by the way, is every Friday I will plan out what next week's meals are gonna be like, make a list, and then after the gym we kinda hit up all, all the spots. And so that's been working out really good. Um, for success, always have an idea of what you're gonna eat the next week. It's also gonna help you not spend as much at the grocery store. Then always have fresh washed berries in your fridge. I always have that as well too because at the, at the end of the day if I have yogurt and I have berries and I have granola I always have something quick to eat that's going to have a good balance of protein, carbs, and fats. Have crazy hat head. I'm going to go take a body shower. I'm not going to wash my hair. I'm just going to take a body shower and get comfortable but I wanted to show you guys so these are the Nike Metcons. I got these for leg day because I didn't have an, a leg day appropriate shoe. For those of you who don't know, you have to have a flat sole for leg day so that you can have balance and um, you know reduce risk of injury. So Hoka's are not good leg day shoes. I mean they're they're actually awful. Um, so anyways, these are they're pretty good, but they're not great for walking and they're not great for like the treads. So. But if it's a leg day at the gym, and then I will wear these and I can tread in them anyway. Um, but they're not something that I would wear like on my walks. 
Okay, so now I'm going to get some work done. I have some computer work to do, lots of editing, but I will show you kind of what I'm eating today. On Fridays, when I plan out my meals for the weekend, I do those full days of eating. I usually eat that Sunday through Thursday, and Friday is a variable day. Sometimes we go out to eat, and I just work it in. Sometimes I just eat convenience foods on Fridays because I'm, I'm, I've am I'm run out of my prepped protein and, and all of that. So um, I'll show you guys what I eat anyways today, even though it's not an official full day of eating. But I'll also show you guys um, what else I'm getting into. I'm about to have my first meal. I'm going to go make, I think I'm going to make a yogurt bowl. And then I'm going to take my supplements with my first meal of the day. But isn't this the coolest? This is my new supplement container and I'm kind of obsessed with it. And ever since I got it, I've been really a lot better about not forgetting to take my supplements. And I have been taking some things that really make a difference in my life. And so if I forget to take them, I'm really disappointed. Pancakes, steak, eggs. Look at that. Measuring the syrup like a good little macro client. It's only 10 are. calories for that right there. See? And imagine if that was a sugar one. Yeah. It would get away from you quick. Very quick. 10 calories for this. That's all I need. All right, you guys. I got some work done. I filmed a funny instagram video maybe i'll insert it here you guys probably already saw it um but mike was a good sport about it i was kind of poking fun at his, inten his intensity but now i know he's gonna get me back oops this is uh mike's little sanctuary out in the garage yeah, because he's got this thing. I don't know if I've ever brought the vlog out to the garage. This is like his little fight bag. Get out of there. Mike is making fun of me because I came out here and then I had to start cleaning. It's I... so annoying. <laughs> you like it. No way. It's gonna work out. This is his... This is his... The, all the neighbors watch sometimes, which is hilarious. The little kids across the street. They do. They get excited. Yeah. All right, you guys. We are winding down for the day. So I thought I would sh take you guys through my nighttime skincare routine. I think it's changed a little bit. First of all, this is my mouthwash. While we're in my bathroom, I'm going to show you, sorry, that's gross. I'm going to show you some things that I haven't shown in a while. Just, I mean, things that I've gotten that I don't think I've shown you guys, so, that I love. First of all, this is my favorite hairspray. It is Ken Murphy Session Spray Flex. It's like a light hold, so your hair never gets crunchy or, like, um, crispy or snow or anything like that and it smells so good mm, i love it you can get it on amazon i got it at my hairdresser i think it's actually cheaper on amazon though but anyways that favorite hairspray um i did just try a new a couple new i got it this, i got this in pr from inky list i'm on the inky list pr phoebe i call it witching hour every time every day at this time um Phoebe acts up. Anyways, I got added to the Inky List PR. Inky List is like a, a an affordable skincare brand on Sephora. So, anyways, I'm on the PR, which is kind of cool. So they sent me some new products, and one of them is this oat cleansing balm. And it was right at the same time that I was due for... Um, restocking my Paula's Choice. And this is an interesting, I get this question a lot. 
when people see that I change products, they kind of like freak out a little bit. And they're like, oh, so you don't like the other product anymore? What's wrong with it? No, it's just nature of the beast. If people send me stuff, I'm going to use it. And if I like it, I'll recommend it. Um, I think that skincare products are a little bit of like a dime a dozen. There's tons out there. And Inculus is affordable, which I like. So, so it's a little cheaper than Paula's Choice. But Paula's Choice is a good price point, too. Still love their products. But, um, but I like this. I definitely like it a lot. I like the... The feeling on the skin, so I'm gonna I'm gonna rinse this off. We will water my tank. I started with the Bioderma Micellar Water. I still love this. Um, now I'm gonna go in with my Paula's Choice Advanced Replenishing Toner. Change my camera angle so you guys can see. So this is the toner. As long as you're doing something. A lot of people do nothing, but there's so many products out there. It's like overwhelming. All right. So now I am going to apply my tretinoin, which God, I'm a mess. Which I love, by the way. I the 0.025 tretinoin. It doesn't. I don't have any issues. When I first started it, my skin was a little dry, but not anymore. I've been using this for like six months and I have noticed a difference in this area. Um, the discoloration like right in here has gotten so much better. Um, yeah, like I am due for my Botox. My appointment's Monday. Normally. It is so much worse at this point, like crazy worse. Like I have almost forgot I had an appointment coming up when normally I'm like, when's my appointment? I feel like that's probably the tretinoin. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys a cool little thing. So this is the Inky List Hyaluronic Acid. This is also a new product they sent me. And the reason why I like it is because it's almost like an oil and a serum in one. So it's got like a, it's a thicker, consistency like an oily consistency and I got this new gadget that I'm dying over like I'm using it so much it is this little facial massager so if you want your skincare to penetrate I put it on the hot mode and you massage your serums and treatments right into your skin. This is the from LNL Skin. It's called the Mommy. And it's incredible. I just got it from them. It was PR too. I'm not it's not sponsored, but they sent it to me. Um So what that means, not sponsored. They're not paying me to give them a good review or give them a review at all. They just wanted me to try it and talk about it if I like it. And I did a whole separate video on it, so I'll link it. I love things like this. Things like tools and, you know, I've only been using it a little while. I don't really know if it's doing much. I did feel, oh look at my dogs going crazy. I did feel like in the morning when I used the cold setting, it, it did depuff my face because there's a cold setting on here. So I put the same hyaluronic acid serum when I woke up in the morning just to help it glide. And, and I put it on the cold setting and I did it right into my eyes and I did like a lymphatic drainage and it's just like a really great depuffer. Um, snail mucin from Amazon. This stuff, I like to, I just slap this stuff on. Hey, no, no. Like, especially now with this massage tool, I just put tons on and then I just get into bed because this is cordless. And I just massage until it's all absorbed and it's just like the best. I, I look ridiculous with this wet tank top, but it's so good. 
Anyways, whether it's doing anything or not, who knows? It's supposed to reduce fine lines and wrinkles, help your skincare absorb. The depuffing, you definitely can tell it's depuffing for sure. And this does feel like it helps the skincare absorb. And I want to do my neck here too for the lines on my neck. I feel like my neck has gotten better. This is where I struggle. And since I'm in a, currently in a deficit and losing weight, I, unfortunately, it's I'm going to pay the price in my face. I know this. Because I carry a lot of weight in my face. Anyway, so those are only the, the only two serums I'm using right now is the hyaluronic acid and the snail mucin. I used to have the Caudalie resveratrol. Um, to be honest, I went through like three bottles of it and then I just stopped buying it just because it's expensive. It's really expensive. So I just kind of st stopped restocking it and I'm kind of been more st steering towards more budget friendly products or obviously if I get PR'd, you know, a product, I'm going to use that. Um, I do still love this, which is the Summer Fridays eye cream. This stuff is really good. And I don't usually put um, moisturizer on. I'm, I'm happy with just the snail mucin. But I did try just putting on like a face cream and then you, I used this on the cold setting and just sat in bed and massaged like, like almost like a cold cream on my face. That felt kind of like amazing if I'm being completely honest. So it just feels kind of like indulgent and self-care-ish. This is the Laneige lip mask and I'm doing all of this and it's not, I haven't even had dinner yet. So I just figured why not do a little self-care, skincare, Mike's in the garage exercising and I just wanted to chat with you guys, do a little self-care self-care on a Friday night. All right, well, I'm going to show you guys that uh, burrito bowl before I sign off of this vlog. But um, if we don't chat again, by the way, I got these on Amazon. They're so cute. I got them in like a three pack. Anyways, if I don't see you again, and if you only see my food, thank you so much for tuning into this vlog. Um, hopefully it wasn't too all over the place. Day in the life of our crazy life on Fridays. Fridays tend to be like this for us. Um, but thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you are watching all the videos. I'm putting out videos like literally almost every day. And of course, tune into our podcast that's on every Monday and Friday here on YouTube and everywhere you get your podcast. Thank you so much for all the support on my channel and we'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, here is the bowl. It's actually huge and it's 390 calories, 30 grams of protein. I had some extra calories, so I did half a serving of sweet potato chips and it really is delicious. Great way to uh, have a convenient meal when I don't feel like making anything.